with his artwork in demand as never before, Warhol resolved to step up production. In January 1963, he moved his studio from the parlor of his townhouse, no longer large enough to accommodate his larger paintings, to the third floor of an abandoned red brick firehouse a few blocks away on East 87th Street. In June, to increase production still further, he took on a new assistant, a 20-year-old college student from the Bronx named Gerard Malanga, who had learned how to silkscreen a few years before while working for a necktie manufacturer. The more you look at Warhol's work, the more you look at Warhol, the more you see a mind constantly engaged in the studio. We see him making a series of decisions in the studio, how one painting leads to another painting, how one series leads to another painting. And there are a series of insights, and you get a sort of logic almost that unfolds in the studio that's of an intensely committed and engaged, sophisticated and thoughtful artist. <laughs> 